All right, what's going on, everybody? We're gonna play some more uh, Halo Online El Dorito 0.7 tonight. So, if you didn't see already, yesterday 4:20, yo El Dorito devs came out with a new update for uh, Halo Online. So 0.7 released with a ton of new features, a uh, ton of new customization options, new forge abilities, uh, mod-supported server browser. As you can see from the main menu, campaign and firefight are now available. Um, Although you need to have the uh, the maps uh, through Tag Tool to do that, uh, and a ton of other things, and it, it's awesome. So we're gonna dive into it again today. Um, so if you tuned into my stream yesterday, we were kind of looking around, uh, looking at the menus a bit, seeing like the customization the options. I actually figured out you can actually customize even more and get new main menus. So if you look at the settings, there's main menu mod. And we can see here that there's El Dorito plus plus 0.3. There's uh, Fallout Weapons Pack. I don't think that one does anything. Gears of War, um, Halo 3 Pack 2.3, uh, Halo Online, uh, Paper Master Chief, Ratchet and Clank, and then Reach Anniversary Multiplayer. So uh, what I'm going to do to start off this stream is we're going to dive into the main menu. Uh, mods and see what customization options are available i looked through them a little bit earlier so i'll just be showing you guys the ones that actually have some things um that we can customize so we'll start off at el dorito uh plus plus so if you want to load up a mod just select it and then do apply and it will load a new menu for you yeah so what's going on halo fanatic welcome to the stream so you know right off the bat it looks like it's pretty much the same but if we go into customization we can actually see, we'll start with the head actually, there are new helmets added to El Dorito Plus Plus. So we have, you know, Pilot, which is the Halo 3 Pilot helmet, which a lot of people have been asking for actually. Uh, Foe Hammer, Air Assault, Operator, Breach, Concept, and then marine which is pretty sick um there's also other shoulder pieces uh tech suits body pieces so we'll check those out as well uh i'm just going to keep my default because i want to keep what i want to wear during the game keep my og look <coughs> so we'll take a look at these so we have the odst uh shoulder piece uh we also have breach which is basically the mark six with a couple extra mags on there it looks like and then we have Marine, which is a pretty cool looking uh, shoulder piece. But again, I'm going to keep my original look, put it on the recon. Keen McNeely, Reach One is the best. Yeah, it's definitely a cool one, so we'll check that out. Um, it's last on the list, so we'll check out the other ones and we'll get to that. Yeah, for body parts, we have uh, all the same ones that came with originally, including Bungie, but we also have Breach which is pretty cool. Bunch of shotgun shells. And then Marine. Which uh, kind of looks a bit like ODST. We'll keep the CQB. Keep it classic. Then we got our tech suits. Um, I mean, these are just uh, your normal tech suits, which are actually in MCC now. Gen 1, Gen 2, and then Gen 2 colored. Um, it's probably not going to show very different for me because my color is black, but if you had like something like blue or something, or red, it would match that. And I think arms and legs are just default. Yeah, so there's nothing new for arms or legs yet. Uh, I'm sure they'll add it later. Uh, I also already looked at elites. There's nothing new for elites and Eldorita++, Plus Plus, uh, but we will check them out later in the Halo Online menu. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So like I said, nothing for Fallout Weapons Pack. I, I looked in there, I didn't see anything. Uh, Gears of War, I didn't look at that, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing new there. Uh, so we'll skip over that for the time being. Halo 3 pack, uh, I think there were some new things in there, so let's check that out. Ruby Hayabusa armor and Spartan Nicole 458 from Dead or Alive. Are those actually in here as an option? So yeah, here we actually have the, Halo, the original Halo 3 menu. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool they're able to implement that. Uh, customization, I think this is from the Halo 3 Mythic. 
yeah, let's check it out here. So we'll check out the headpiece. As you can see in Halo 3, it has the gold visor by default instead of my custom purple one. Was there anything new here? There was a new one somewhere. Uh, okay, so I guess uh, Halo 3 doesn't have anything new. My mistake, but let's go on to the next one. Halo Online. So Halo Online is going to have a ton of new things. Um, you know, if you ever played the original Halo Online or even El Dorito 0.5, you know the armor. Also, a lot of it has been ported over to the Master Chief Collection, so it's going to be similar. Uh, there might be a couple new things in here, and then we're also going to look at the Halo Online Elite armor, um, which, uh, again, some of it was ported to MCC, but it'll be cool to see in here. So, we got the original Halo Online background, which is awesome. We'll check out the customization for this. I haven't customized my Spartan at all here, so we'll go ahead and do that while I'm here. Uh, so yeah, you can be a Spartan or an Elite, and they look goofy as hell. <laughs> but we'll try to customize them to look uh, a little more classic. But we'll start with the Spartan. We'll just go ahead and dive down here through all the helmets. So we got Air Assault, Commando, which is meh. Breaker, Pioneer, Oracle, Renegade, Reaper. Reaper's not bad. Widowmaker. Spectrum, Void Dancer, Juggernaut, Rampart, Tremor, don't really know how to pronounce that one, don't even want to try, <laughs> Strider, Hailbird, Hoplite, Skeptre, Inquisitor, oh god that's just like a diamond, Venator, Cyclops, Infiltrator, Soldier, Soldier's not bad, that's pretty pretty standard. Mermillion, <coughs> Flenser, Omni, and Gunslinger. Uh, what was the one I liked up here? Is it Reaper? Yeah, I'll go with the Reaper. Reaper looks pretty cool. Chess pieces. I mean, they're all going to be the same same names. So I'll just go ahead and scroll through them instead of reading them off. That thing is huge, huge. A lot of gold. I wonder if gold is set as my secondary color to start. Nova is the Halo to pour. <laughs> I also lo always like the Halo Online music as well. I thought it was pretty good. That thing is gigantic. It's super glowy. I don't need to be glowy. Infiltrator's not bad, although I'm not big on the glowy pieces. Soldier? Soldier's not bad. Makes me look kind of small, though. I want to be a little beefy, but nothing nothing too big. Yeah, we'll just stick with Gunslinger. Why not? So, again, all the same names. Although it looks like you... Uh, so the shoulders, you customize both shoulders instead of just one or the other. I wonder if that's a limitation to Halo Online. Uh, not a big fan of that, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. Maybe they, they'll add more customization later on with more updates. As long as this game keeps getting attention, I'm sure they'll keep updating it. Even with little attention. I mean, the devs for Elder Reader are just such big fans of Halo, and they want to see this succeed. And I'm sure we all do. I mean, Elder Reader has been a big part of Halo for what they've been able to do with such Little, little time alive. Those are alright. Just got off the game 10 minutes ago. Oh, man. Yeah, you should have stayed on a little bit longer. We could have matched up, but uh, thanks. I'll definitely try to have some fun tonight. Played a little bit earlier today. I got into the Gears of War, one of the Gears of War maps for, uh, or one of the game modes for the first time. And that was pretty cool, using like the Lancer and all those weapons. Um... Definitely looking forward to playing some more variations tonight.
the Halo TV series is not canon. Technically, it's canon in a different timeline, but we're not going to talk about that. Yeah, we'll go with those. Arms, so in this one, it looks like we actually do have arms and legs that you can customize. Is there anything that, like, covers up my arm, like, decently? And it's not a glowy piece of shit? About downloading now, about to play for the first time in like 30 minutes. Dude, you're going to enjoy it, man. I mean, the the mod support in this game is just insane. I, I It's it's what MCC should be, and if 343 will update it, I hope it gets this far, if not farther. Because, like I said, the, the El Dorito devs are just... What they've been able to do with this game, and what they've been able to add, is so cool. Like, uh, I, I got to play for, what, two hours last night? I didn't get to try everything yet, but on Twitter today I saw you can play as, like, The Flood, obviously Ratchet and Clank, Gears of War, third-person mode. Uh, I played Mario Kart last night. I mean, dude, it, there's so many cool things in this. We'll go with these. These look pretty standard. Ratchet and Clank mode went hard. I played that for like 10 seconds. I joined into like an infection mode, and then I died, and then the game was over. So, gotta, gotta play it again tonight. Cat and Emil have cameo in Gears of War. Yeah, they do. It's pretty cool that they're actually in that game. And now they're also in, um, what is it, uh, Rainbow Siege. So, it's cool that Halo is making its way to other video games. I just wish Halo got more attention itself. But, we'll see what the future holds. You know, we're, we're, the Halo community is doing what we can do. I, I mean, I'm part of it as well. Make videos, make Forge maps in Halo Infinite. Uh, the El Dorito team making a whole entire mod for Halo Online. I mean, the Halo community loves the game, and we're here to help as much as we can. Um, hopefully, 343 can bounce back from, uh, you know, some of the rough launches and the ongoing Halo Infinite support. I mean, it's just... It's non-existent at this point. It's Forge Maps, and that's it. And that's why, if you've seen on Twitter recently as well, there's been some people talking about Forge getting compensation for getting maps into matchmaking because Forge Maps are carrying the game at this point. We're going to go black under suit because we don't want colors. I'll stay male. All right, so... Love my black. going to stay black. And then we're going to go Poiple. I want a darker purple. Yeah, like right there. That looks, looks pretty solid. Give me one second. Sorry for the pause, just trying to modify my uh, my volume a little bit. Turn down the mic a little bit, just make sure you guys still hear me without being too loud. So, you know, add, add in the chat if things are too loud or too quiet, let me know. Uh, I'll modify the volume as I can. But let's get back to some more customization. Brainsaw, Nerf, Zombie Strike have similarity in Lance Gears of War. Okay. Oh, the purple visor. Not not big on the gold on the helmet, but we'll change it later. The purple lights. Hologram color? What is hologram color? I have no idea what that is, but we'll just make it purple. Uh, keep my emblem. Alright, let's check out the goofy elites. So, yeah, I... 
I mean, the, are these even Halo 4 elites? They just look so, like, I don't know, sluggish? It, it's weird, but let's customize them. So we got the base harness, the cleric harness, a Sona harness. That was pretty cool. It's like Jewel Madama. Alro, Accord. Yeah, we've seen some of these in MCC. These definitely look familiar. Yeah, that's like the general. That one's uh, pretty interesting. I'm legally allowed to say I have no idea what the heck you just said. Some of these helmets are actually not bad. And then others are just like, do. But, you know. So, I'm, I'm debating between this one and this one. And I think I'm going to go with this one, just to get the glowy thing off my face. Like, go, Angel, what did you mean by that? Oh. Yeah, I guess that's true. I could say that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not really, not really sure what that comment said, but it's all good. That's a BB boy. Pretty slender, I like that one. Uh, let's go with that one. So again, shoulders are going to be... Same Z's, you can't customize them one at a time, but it's all good. Yeah, we've seen that. Seen that one. Uh, go with these. Pretty cool. Whatever can cover up that horrible skin. Ugh. Something that can just cover it up all the way. These might be the best. I don't know. We got the legs. These are pretty cool. These aren't bad. Just not big on the glowy stuff. We'll go with those. Okay, so now we can actually do an undersuit. Thank God. There we go. So we got all black undersuit. That's pretty dope. John 117 Armor Easter Egg and Duke Nukem Forever 2011. Yeah, I remember seeing that in some YouTube videos. Uh, kind of random, but yeah, he's in there. A lot, of, uh, a lot of Halo in other video games, so wherever you can see it, we just need more here. Let's, let's make that darker. Make it darker. Alright, that works. It's already dark black. And then we'll do our color as purple. All right. So I'm going to stick with this elite here because, you know, we rarely see the Halo Online elites. I mean, this is pretty new content, I would say, especially since we're able to actually play as them in El Dorito now because that was never possible before. So, you know, that looks like a pretty classic elite right there. I mean, you can kind of see his face looks a little meh, but, you know, that's what we got the helmet on for. All right, so check out that new main menu when you choose the Elite. This was always a thing with Halo Online. I remember seeing it. Um, if you have an Elite as your playable character, you get a new background, and it's like inside of a Covenant Carrier, which is sick. All right. So, yeah, that's the uh, Halo Online menu. So let's check out what is next. Uh, Paper Master Chief, I, I'll i look at this one again. I looked earlier, and the only thing I could see different was the assault rifle was, like, 2D. So, we'll see what, what's going on. So, we're back to the Halo Online menu. I mean, you can kind of see in the background, things look, like, a little papery. I'm not sure what this mod consists of yet. Um, we'll have to play it in the browser. But, uh, if we go to... 
customization. Also, I figured out the the UI is laggy when I have OBS open. As soon as I clone, close OBS, everything is super duper smooth. So that's kind of weird. But yeah, I mean, as you can see here, like the assault rifle's 2D. Everything else, I mean, the textures look kind of papery, but there's like no new armor or anything like that, to my knowledge. We'll check real quick, but I don't think there is. Yeah, nothing new. Um, so we'll move on to the next menu. Uh, I'll show Ratchet and Clank real quick, but there wasn't anything besides the menu and the sound effects that are different. Yeah, we got like a Ratchet and Clank menu, and it has the noises from Ratchet and Clank, which is pretty cool. But customization, all the same. Uh, not much there. I mean, we can look at the menus real quick. Yeah, it doesn't really, doesn't really take you anywhere. Just the same menu. It's cool. It's cool though. Whatever we can add to the game, it's fun. Uh, yeah, so the last one we'll check out, which is probably the big one, as said before in the chat, is the Reach Anniversary menu, which we will get to customize our Halo Reach Spartan and Elite. Yep, got the Reach menu, just like before. Pretty awesome. Um, and it's got all the extra things. I mean, it's basically the Halo 3 menu, but with Reach, which is sick. So we'll go into customization, and as we can see, we have a Spartan 3. So let's customize this bad boy. Gonna, gonna try and make him as close as I can. Actually, there is some new armor here, so let's check out the new armor first. I might have to use one of them. Uh, Samurai, which is pretty cool looking. SPI. Oh, Orion. I didn't even see Orion there before. It's missing a picture, but that's sweet. SPI. ODST Alpha, which is kind of like the Halo 2 version. ODST Demo. ODST Com. ODST Heavy. Which I'm pretty sure these are all just like Fireteam Raven ODST helmets. Mark 4, which is badass. Mark 7. Which is awesome. And then we got the classic haunted helmet, GRD Mariner, which is basically just the Mr. Chief without the Mr. Chief face. Uh, and then everything else is the OG uh, Halo Reach armor. Controller sensitivity feels off. Uh, I mean, I mean, out of the base game it might need to be modified a little bit. Um, it, it feels a little weird for me too. I probably just need to mess around the settings a little bit, but I mean, overall, it's very playable. First time playing today was so fun though. Glad to hear it. I mean, yeah, El Dorito has been, always been an awesome experience. Um, and hopefully it can actually gain attention and stick around. I mean, when I hopped into the server browser earlier, I think there was over a hundred players playing, which is awesome. So definitely keep spreading word of mouth, let your friends know. Uh, showed on social media, like, let's get this thing rolling again. Let's let's get people off of MCC and into El Dorito. Maybe we can convince 3 for 3 to push one more big update, or maybe somehow get the El Dorito devs involved in MCC. Um, but there's so much, there's so many possibilities out there that we, um, you know, we could have for the game. Do I want Orion? Mark 4, or do I want to go with my Mark 6? I'm just going to make my Halo Reach. Spartan. I think there are no armor or helmet attachments in this. That's the only difference, really. I think the rest is pretty much the same. There's my Mark VI. There you are. Alright, so we'll get Mark VI. Gungan, no, yeah. I had what is it called? Grenadier. Grenadier. And then we got the meal shoulder. Cause I'd be like that. You think Microsoft would try to shut it down again? Uh, no, I really don't. I, I I've been thinking about it. And I think the reason Microsoft made it such a big fit about it last time was because there was no Halo 3 on PC at the time. So El Dorito was basically the first time there was something big and very close, like 99% close to the original Halo 3 available on PC. And as soon as Microsoft saw that, they were like, oh, people want Halo 3 on PC. Maybe we should, uh, maybe we should give it to them and charge them for it. 
So I think that's pretty much what happened. Uh, they saw it as an opportunity to uh, have people purchase Halo 3 through Master Chief Collection. So they shut down El Dorito so that people would buy Master Chief Collection and play Halo 3 that way. Uh, you know, it's been five, six years since then. And, um, you know, the MCC train has sailed. So at this point, I think uh, Microsoft is pretty much open to letting this mod run because they got their money from MCC already. Just knows there's like no knives, but there are new chest pieces. I didn't look at the uh, shoulders. I'll go back to the shoulders on the other one. There is a uh, new chest pieces. Oh, so they have like Halo 3 ODST uh, chest pieces in here. That's interesting. That was not bad. Green, interesting. Again, I'm going to go for my OG look. I'll go back to the shoulders after I get what I want. There we go. There it is. I think these had different names than what they were in Halo Reach. They look different. But anyway, let's look at the let's look at the new shoulders. So yeah, we got the Mickey shoulder. And, you know, the Ryan. SPI. VST demo. Tom. Heavy. Tack. Mark IV. Should just make a Mark IV Spartan. Nah. Maybe later. Just going for the original. Yeah, they're a giant monopoly. I mean, but I, honestly, I mean, compared to like Nintendo and some of the other companies out there, I think they're pretty lenient with just letting fans do what they want with the IPs, making fan stuff. Uh, I mean, this game using Halo Online, it, it's just a little, it's a little weird uh, in that sense right off the bat. But it is what it is. So you can actually customize both wrists in this. That's pretty cool. I'm assuming they have new wrist pieces. Nope, I lied. They don't. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make this a little different compared to uh, my original Spartan because I can customize both. You can also customize. Oh. So you do have uh, helmet attachments. That's awesome. All right, so you can do two thighs now. We'll do the... There's new thighs as well, so I'll look at the other thigh with the new attachments. Maybe I'll put one of those new ones on there. Get decked out. <clears throat> that's pretty... That's pretty sick. Canisters. One man should have all that power. I have all the power. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll go with this. New knees. New knees. Let's see. Ooh, we do have new knees. Okay. ODST Com isn't bad. Here's ODST Tech. Uh, but I'm going to go with. Again, the original. FJ Para. One wrist is enough. Nah, I want two wrists. One for my comms. One for armor. Dude, I am decking out. So you can put on multiple attachments for your helmets. This is what Halo Infinite should add, man. Look at all this customization. Every single thigh, every single wrist, multiple helmet pieces. I literally have four things I could put on my helmet. So let's let's deck this out, dude. And they even have like new stuff, like what's Buck? That's pretty cool. Doing it. And we'll put like a camera on the side. Which camera do I want? Let's just put them all. I don't want two earpieces, that looks kinda weird. UA is new, isn't it? Or that was on like uh no, that was on Grenadier. That's if I do two bucks. Look like a little robot or something. Yeah. We'll put it on the, the camera. 
And we got the top of the helmet, so we can put on like a brim, which is sick. I mean, some of these don't make sense, but just because they give you the ability, I mean, that's just so cool. Like, what am I going to use binoculars for on a Mark VI? I got to put something on here, right? Personally, I'm a dual tack GPS, so never get lost. Yeah, you can always double check your GPS, see if one looks off. Look at the other one. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, I'm not feeling a top piece. We're just gonna go base. See what the bottom has. So, I mean, yeah, some of these are gonna make sense, but other ones are gonna blend in too much. So I can even have, like, uh, Jun's uh, scarf, even though I'm not wearing the chest piece, which is pretty cool. Scarf secondary. What's the difference? Oh, it's a little darker. Okay. Uh, nah. Nah. Then we got like a backpack. And look, a waist. I still got a waist. Like, we're, we're not even done yet. <laughs> Let's keep going. We're gonna do a backpack because that's just awesome. Hey, look at these. You can literally, you can actually make Noble Team now. You can customize it all the way. You can actually be Noble Team. I think I might do the package. That's cool. Although some of these ODST ones are pretty sick. Again, I think some of these things were in MCC, so they were probably ported over, which is cool. Yeah, I'm going to go with the package. Or if I'll run into any other streamers and Halo YouTubers today. That'd be cool. Ran the Mint Blitz yesterday. That was fun. Out of all the places that I played Halo, I've only played with him in El, El Dorito. Seeing flashbacks to all the Battle Pass showcases sketch and the crew were doing every few months because they forgot to add game to their game. To their game. I think you mean content to their game. Yeah, I mean, Halo Infinite, man... Uh, they, they weren't ready to do a live service game. I mean, we could tell within the first month that they had no content. And it's like, you guys wanted to do a live service game, but you can't provide the live service part? I mean, Halo 5 did a better live service job than Halo Infinite, and Halo Infinite was marketed as a live service game. So, yeah, drop the ball. They need to drop the free-to-play model for the next Halo game. We're going to go Marine. That's cool. Let's check out Tech Suits. Always heard Barth was a nine, was a package type kind of guy. Yeah, man, I always got my package on me. It's a big package. Just saying. I'm gonna have to go with the black tech suit because although camo might look cool, camo looks pretty cool. But camo, camo's cool, but black. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to change my color. You can have any color you want, as long as it's black. This UI is pretty laggy with OBS on, not gonna lie. Uh, but I wanted to show off the customization, so otherwise I would have just did it off stream. Visor color. My visor color in Reach was black, so I might just go black. I'll make the light colors purple. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's see if there's anything new with the Elites. Actually, no, there is going to be new stuff with the leaks. I swear I saw like a Heretic Elite when I played last night. So let's see what customization options we have. I'm sure there's a good amount. So, you know, we got the, the usual Halo Reach helmets, and the Generals, the Majors, the, the Rangers, Spec Ops, Leo Marshall, Ultra. I love Ultra. I'm a, I'm a sucker for Ultra. Zealot. 
Alright, so here we go. Silent Shadow. Heretic. So I, I saw a Heretic. I knew I saw a Heretic last night. They even got Arbiter. And it's a Halo Reach Arbiter. That's pretty interesting. Honor Guard. Dude, this is sick. High Counselor. Okay, I don't know what to be. This is sick. I think I might have to be a High Counselor. I understand why live service and subscription models exist because maintaining infrastructure is impossible without taxes per se, but I wish it wasn't because, yeah. I mean, so they should have just sold the game full with campaign and multiplayer at $60. And then, I mean, you can do similar, you can do a similar type of thing in the store where you can buy some armor or whatever, but you shouldn't rely on the main content coming through battle passes and a majority of it coming through the store for a very overpriced amount like it just does not make sense i would have rather paid 60 bucks for the full game which i did because i bought the campaign and gotten everything from the get-go i mean even if i have to earn it like you do in halo reach where you get credits and you buy what you want at least like it's not locked behind a paywall and you still paid 60 bucks for it See? Yeah, this is what I saw last night, the heretic piece. But, I mean, look at this. You can literally be the Arbiter in Halo Reach. How sick is that? That'd be a, that'd be a, I'm going to try to go for a, a Field Marshal, or a High Counselor look. See, see what I can do. So let's just see what's new. Honor Guard. Badass. Arbiter. Heretic. That's all it's new, so I might not be able to get like a full look. Maybe like a zealot. It's like a zealot arm and then like a field marshal. Like I want my elite to look badass. Even though he's gonna be bulky, I mean especially with that helmet. It looks badass. Although Major's not bad. RB chess piece is rough. Yeah, I mean, it, it's new content, and it's going on a Reach model, I guess, so it, it's going to look a, weir a little weird, but it's not bad. Yeah, let's go for Field Marshal. Is he for effort? <laughs> I don't think that's how it goes. It looks kind of weird. RB arm. Go for like one arbiter arm. Yeah. I'm gonna go probably gonna do a high, high honor guard. Ugh. Honor guard arm and then something else on the other arm. Let's see. I like the mix and match. Probably go for like zealot. Field marshal. I'll go for field marshal. Check out them thighs, boy. Heretic legs. Not bad. RB legs. Nah. I'll go with the... I don't know. Honor guard or general? Go with the general legs. Let's look at those toes. That's it. All right. Now let's check out the colors. So we want to go black. Nah, black looks kind of weird on an elite. I go white because I'm a, I'm a high counselor. I think white looks cool. And then we'll go. Uh, how's black look on that? Eh, black's all right. But. Mm. Oipal. Detail color. So there's a detail color and a light color. Okay, that's pretty cool. You can actually like change the light on the legs. I 
Make it look like red. That looks kind of cool. Make it red. I don't see any natural light colors, but we'll do purple. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any resentment towards Halo Infinite either. It's just, I mean, someone explained it so well uh, yesterday when I was playing. I heard it in the voice chat in El Dorito. It's just, it feels like a grind. Like, you like you have to play the game to get the armor, and you feel like you're going to miss out. I mean, it's a fear of missing out, because if you don't play... I mean, Halo Infinite is one of the better games where you don't have a fear of missing out, because you can go back and you can actually buy the stuff if you don't get it. But if you want it for free, you got to play during a certain time, and you need to get it within a certain amount of time that they give you. And granted, it's like three to four weeks, but like I would, I literally sit aside like an hour like for two or three days a week so I can just like grind through the weekly challenges. And then uh, I play a game once a day until I get to level 20 through the current the battle pass or whatever they call it now, and then I can take a break. But it, it just... It, it's like I had more fun playing El Dorito last night than I did grinding Halo Infinite because I'm just playing for the fun and it's new content and it's with people who are having a good time instead of just like grinding like uh, Husky Raid or something and I like Husky Raid but yeah alright so anyway that's our Honor Guard High Council member Zealot combo mix he looks sick I love him alright so, we checked out all of the menus. Let's play some games. That's what we're here for, right? So, as you can see, 140 people online right now. I mean, this game last night, it had maybe half of that, so we've already doubled in one day. So if we double day over day, uh, we should be there. And I see this is like a Halo 2 one. I wanted to get that Halo 2 map pack, so let's go ahead and join this. I'm probably gonna have to download some, yeah. So I think this is the Halo 2 pack that I was missing and I wanted to get it downloaded. So let's check out what's going on here. Uh, Alfred, if you want to download link, it's in the description of the video, or the live stream. So, yeah, go ahead and download it, have some fun, man. Come play with me. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to get off the grind, but then I feel like I'm missing out, because it's like, oh, what if I want to use this armor one day, and I'm never going to use it, because I use the same armor every time. Like, it's just like Mark VI, Mark VII, Mark V, because that's what I like, and that's what I use. And there's some cool pieces, but like, in the Grunt Pass, I don't want to be a Grunt. I'm not going to wear anything. I unlocked everything. I have it all, but I'm probably never going to use it. And it, it just feels like a pain to grind. I don't know why I do it, to be honest. I should stop. And the chronic wrist pain. Yeah. Well, I use I use controller, so I don't have wrist pain. <laughs> Finger pain, I guess. Preparing files. Do you think we will get 0 0.8 soon? Uh, El Dorito 0 0.8? I mean, so they just came out with 0 0.7 yesterday, um, and that took six years. So <laughs> we're probably a little bit off from 0 0.8. Classic server browser? Yeah, I mean, this is how it should be. This is how it should be in Halo Infinite, too. That's how the server browser should look. Take a while, prepare those files. There we go. All right. Oh, did I miss it? I played this already last night. So this is a, like a version of Mario Kart, which is awesome. No, sir, him, man. He runs like one of the big servers. Anybody else in here? I'll probably say what's up. I'm surprised there's actually people that know me in here as well. So, at least like playing last night and even over time back in 06 and um, 0 0.5 even, there were people that recognized me. It's always cool to like find people that know me. 
I don't know if we'll find anybody like that tonight. I think Hambo knows me. Does their game require an extreme good amount of PC specs? Probably not. I mean, it's basically Halo 3. Uh, it took about 5 gigs of space to download. And then the mods will be extra space. Um, but I haven't tried. I mean, this is the same PC I run Halo Infinite on. Uh, but I doubt you need something strong. Yeah, you can probably create recreate Great Team at this point with the amount of customization we have and custom colors and all that. So, um, oh, let's vote for something. So yeah, it looks like we're playing on Waterfall, which is in MCC, but the mod you see is Halo Online, so we're going to be playing the Halo Online version of it, not Halo 3. So there's going to be Sprint, there's going to be Halo Online uh, weapon models, uh, I think there's some armor abilities, but yeah, so there's different versions of Halo inside of Halo 3 that we can play now. Halo Infinite is done. Eh, Halo Infinite's still going. It's it's slow, but it's still going. I mean, I still like the Forge in it. Uh, me and my friends, we remade a couple of Halo CE maps. We're probably going to start the next level soon, so I'll be grinding that probably uh, in the next week or two. You ever try to chat in Halo Infinite and notice it double press the Y key? Uh, I have not noticed that. I don't usually text chat in Halo Infinite. I don't really uh. chat in general. Oh, hell no. Slayer. I also don't really talk that much, so these live streams are, with me talking are kind of new. So yeah, as you can see, we're sprinting. I'm an elite sprinting. We got the Halo Online models, the weapon outlines. Oh, fuck. Yes, is at like 30. I don't know if that's because of OBS or what. I have to sort that out later. Gain the lead. Hopefully it's not too laggy for you guys. Should be running at crisp 60 plus. I mean, yeah, so we got like the weapon variants now. This is a modified version of the plasma rifle, although it's not any better against a sniper rifle. Yeah, you can probably get a Chromebook and run this game. I mean, I doubt it takes a lot, like I said. It's Halo 3. So, I mean, a game from 2007. You can run that on a, a pretty low-end PC. Because I think I'm the only elite on my team. That's probably why I'm in last. If I was a Spartan, I'd be in first. SMG, silence SMG, but it's also like a power, I think.
Be careful, you hear they delete El Dorito videos with copyright. Um, Default Halo 4. I, I mean, people have like... been posting El Dorito videos, like, even the past several months. I, I looked it up on YouTube just to see, like, what videos have been posted, and people are still posting what was 0 0.6, and they've been fine. I... And like I said earlier in the chat, I don't think Microsoft is going to make a big deal about it at this point. They got their money with Master Chief Collection. I think that was the main reason they shut down El Dorito in the first place was because they wanted to capitalize on the Halo 3 PC hype. They did that, and now we can play, uh, you know, we can play without Microsoft worrying so much. Let's try zombies. So yeah, I mean, look at this. We have Halo 2 maps in Halo 3. And we're going to play Halo 2 zombies in Halo 3. Microsoft sales data to brokers? I mean, that doesn't really sound like, you know, that doesn't really surprise me. But they sell your text chat? I mean, I don't, I don't see what you can get out of that, out of a text chat in, in Halo Infinite or Halo MCC. Like, are they going to sell me saying you suck? <laughs> I thought we were playing on a uh, containment. Yeah, I got random stuff. Oh shit! Zombie. New zombie. And I was hoping we were actually playing on like Halo 2, man. New zombie. 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 Ah. Oh. Yeah, the frames are a little better on this map. It might have just been waterfall. I mean, I'm getting like 40, 40 to 50. Still kind of low, but I think OBS has something to do with it. Stony D's nuts. Yeah. Now we're sitting in a black screen. Nice. Oh, there we go. Alright. <laughs> I like the Halo Infinite music that they got going. I mean, you even got like a. Or not Halo Infinite, Halo fuck? Online. We got the Halo Online shotgun, the Halo 4 shotgun. Get this here, yep. So, let's see if we can break out of the map. There should be a spot that we can break out at. doing that in Halo 3 matchmaking, just getting out of the New map zombie. in the corner there. New zombie. New the music is hard. Zombie. I like the music. New zombie. Well, to each their own. You don't have to like it. Watch this emote. Uh. This is Halo 3, baby. This is Halo 3 in 2024. Let's go. I mean, Microsoft's going to sell anything they can on you. That's just how it is today. Every company will sell everything they have on you if you agree to it which you usually do in the terms of conditions, so... That's the world we live in, and it sucks. 
he takes an Infinity Halo multiplayer comes out this year. Linger. I don't think there's a certain Infinity uh, Halo game anymore. It wasn't that Project Tatanka or whatever it was, the New Battle Royale. Zombie. And since that isn't a thing anymore, I doubt it's coming out. Um, they might announce the next Halo game at this point, but who knows. New crouching to add tea bag. Thanks, asshole. Alright, I'm actually gonna like go out here and do something. Oh fuck! Oh yeah, New out of the map, let's go. <laughs> New zombie. New zombie. I just gotta survive up here. New zombie. This is an oldie. New zombie. New My aim just zombie. wasn't fucking atrocious. New zombie. New zombie. New How do you install the game? So the the uh, link is in the description of my live stream um, and then it's pretty much just an installer you choose where to install it and it installs it for you it takes up about five gigs then you launch it and you start playing uh you might have to open some firewall uh firewall rules um but that's about it new fuck last man stay, stay new double kill zombie killing spree we go. triple kill over a kill Laptop detect the virus. Uh, yeah, it's probably the uh, executable that it doesn't want you to run. But I mean, I ran a virus scan on it. Um, and everything was fine. I'm pretty sure it did that for points as well. It just doesn't know the installer where it's coming from. Barsing. Barsing. How what the fuck? Fellas, we gotta find another way around. I, mean, like, I, I ran power blades and windows together, and that's fine, so you'll be good. Can't really get two up. Seriously, bro? You're just gonna stay up there like that? Come down here and fight us like a Spartan. <laughs> just emoting. Let's do this. If you jump, you get your red symbol for like a couple of seconds. You might be able to time a good swing. <laughs> In ah! New zombie. Game over. Nice. Wait, who got you? That was insane. Yeah, first place, baby. Let's go. Pretty cool seeing the elites in the uh, leaderboard page right there at the end. Never seen that before. That's new. Always used to be Spartans because it's the first time we can play elites. Eating a burger with a honey mustard. Play like a Halo 2 map, actually. Come on. So we got a Halo 2 map. Can you join a lobby with friends? Uh, I haven't tried. I have no idea. Uh, I also don't know how you would start a lobby unless you just did like a custom game and then you invited your friends or your friends joined you, but I don't think there's private matches. I think it just goes straight into the server browser. I have no idea. What's the infected AI name again? Uh, Aratus or something? Eratus? Something.
Alright, so we got a Halo 2 map, right? And we're not going to play on Guardian, right? Although this is like a new map. Offense. This looks like the uh, test map from Halo 2 Vista. You oil a penry the lead? Sure. What am I even playing here, dude? Alright, let's go. I'm on the gun. Use you on the gun, chief. A pretty cool map. We're like in Mombasa. Oh Mombasa. Look, we got a friggin' in the background shit. Oh, I don't even know what's going on. I'm just looking at the map. Yeah, there might be a party system in the works. I I I don't have any information on it though. That's where I played with Bill Gates earlier. Oh, let's go! Man, this map just looks so sick. I think this is just Team Slayer. There's one side, VIP So we gotta kill their VIP. Oh. See, I don't even know what I'm playing, dude. Back I got in Halo 3, I was like the best driver. The best wheelman. Oh, except I let my guy die. But I used to get like wheelman sprees all the time back in the OG Halo 3 days. Fuck. Uh. The VIP gun. There we go. Alright, so that's the VIP stuff. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Only good Halo game release besides Custom Edition. Oh, uh, well, you forget about Halo 2, and Halo 3, and Halo Reach. MCC was good after 10 years. Halo Infinite's good. Halo Infinite's not a bad game, it's just not managed well at all. I'm gonna go around for this time. Body, bop, bop, bop. PC. Uh, well, MCC's on PC. No it's on PC. But, you know, El Dorito's awesome, man. I love El Dorito. Look at the monitor. Dude, he got me down from like a mile away. What the fuck did he have? <laughs> Halo 2 Vista. Well, Project Cartographer. I'll give you that. Halo 2 Vista? Nah. Nah, man. It was a mess. <laughs> I can't do more shit today. I'm trying to sprint. I have the Halo Online weapon miles, and I think I can sprint. Round over. Oh, they killed our VIP. would have got him to uh, oh can I should go back and play Project Cartographer I think they had a big update recently I, I mean they've had multiple big updates at the time but I mean that game has been supported like crazy and it's a much better version than what we have on uh, MCC really Thank <laughs> you. 
No, it's definitely been about aiming. My aiming is just shit. real quick. Am I able to disable V-Sync? Yeah. Just trying to make the, the frames a little better. Some of the maps drop the frames a little more than others. It probably depends on uh, what map you're playing on. Like, when we were just playing on Guardian, I was up around 50 frames, and then this is back down to 35. But it's also got to be OBS, too. So. These things were much smoother before I started streaming. 30 seconds remaining. <sighs> yeah, Halo was originally made to be a party game, but I mean, you know, it was also, it also still is. A good competitive game, but you can't build around competitiveness. That's the thing. Just build it as a party game, and then people will make it play. Seconds remaining. I mean, every party game out there, even like Mario Party, that can be competitive, but it's a party game. And it's not really comparing like Halo to Mario Party, because like, you know, there's not like MLG Mario Party games, but it's still a competition. And it can be very competitive. Mario Kart. Mario Kart's another party game, and those are uh, big tournaments, Smash Bros, a party game. But I don't think three of them needs to be fired. Their management needs to be fired, which it was. So let's see if they can get things back on track. I think Halo Infinite just launched very poorly, and it was just too late to save it. So they're basically doing whatever they can, but it's not a lot. And they're probably going to switch to Unreal Engine 5. And then they can bring on new devs that actually know the system and don't need to learn it from scratch. Just to let go of them three months later and teach them a new all over again. So I, I'm more optimistic in that sense for the future of Halo. All because mobile games are made usually in like Unreal Engine or something, and they're easily supported, and they just make a shitload of money. The free to play, which Halo Infinite is too, but. Again, Halo Infinite was marketed as a free-to-play game and was not supported as a free-to-play game. And it's probably because of the engine. And the engine. Game over. Game over. Did we win? I'll probably play one more game in this lobby and then jump into another one because it looks like it's mostly Halo 2 maps. I'll do Crazy King, sure. Which I like Halo 2 maps, but yeah, I want to play some of the. I want to play some more variety. I think I said earlier I played a Gears of War um, game mode earlier with Lancers and Boomers and all those things, and it was sick. And an MLG Pro Circuit with Forge and scripted party game modes. That would be interesting. King of the Hill. King of the Hill. Something looks a little off on this map. I mean, clearly it's Burial Mounds from Halo 2, which is sick. Uh, but something's off. I just know she could dual wield kneeler, so that's pretty cool. They actually modified the game mode to let you dual wield the kneeler like you could in Halo 2. I wonder if anything else is like that. Heal. Ah, poop. Get 
four nades like an AO2. They tried. They tried. They're just getting lit up. Poopy ass beam rifle. Look at that thing. Halo 4 mile. Bleh. Bleh. Kill me. <laughs> Shit. Time out perfectly. Oh, yeah, the opening scene of uh, Season 4 Red vs. Blue. Yeah, I remember that. I remember. Double kill. Double kill. He shouldn't be able to pick up the turret if this is Halo 2. Okay, I'm ready for the uh, final Ill season of Red vs. Blue. That should be coming out, what, in two weeks or something? Looking forward to that. I haven't watched anything since, like, season 14. So I'm, I'm glad it's picking off basically right where I left off. Story wise. Hill Control. Eh, I've never been a fan of the Halo 4 beam rifle. Never have, never will. It does not look good. Um, OG beam rifle is just like slim, and it looks cool, and it's like alien. It's, yeah. That box is nice. Yeah, snipe me. Snipe me. Teammate game. He left me with one bullet. I died anyway. Game so. over. Damn, we got crushed. Probably because I didn't go for the hill. I did, but I just kept dying. All right, we're gonna hop out of this lobby and go play a different lobby. See what else is out there. But Halo 2 maps, sick. Halo 2 is my favorite Halo game, so definitely happy to see there's actually uh, Halo 2 maps in here, and even like the cut ones, like Anchor Point. That's pretty cool. And then um, foundation box. I don't know what that is. It looks like a Halo 3 map. But anyway, pop out of here. Oh, let's see what we got. So. Um, I mean, so this is Reach Anniversary. We'll, we'll play a little, we'll play a little Reach. So. If you haven't seen this yet, this is basically Halo Reach running in the Halo 3 engine. It plays like Halo Reach. It looks like Halo Reach, but it's Halo 3. And you can kind of tell based off of like the jump height. Um, you can tell based off like some of the animations, the elite depth of the Halo 3 sounds, like that. Look at my, hi, my counselor. He looks so sick. I stop spawning in the fucking enemy base. That'd be great. I'm getting about that in two seconds anyway. Such a cool lead. Game over. Only problem that I'm having with El Dorito so far is there's 16 player lobbies on like eight player eight player max maps. So you just like run into enemies constantly, constantly, constantly. And I get people want to get a lobby going and have a bunch of people join. That's cool, but like some of these maps, like you can't be playing 16 people in Battle Canyon. Oh look at that! Someone is me. So yeah, uh, we're down to six players, one flag DMRs. That doesn't sound great, but it is what it is. Yeah, I didn't even watch Red vs. Blue Season 16, so... Yeah. 
course, I joined a game and everybody Capture left, so I flag. just complained about Defense. 16 people, and now we have six. So, that's what I get. Oh well, we'll stay in here. Get assassinated. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Flag stolen. Flag stolen. Flag, Flag dropped. dropped. Flag stolen. Flag dropped. Flag stolen. Flag dropped. Flag stolen. Flag dropped. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's return that flag. So I got armor lock now. Oh, I did. I gotta pick it up. Can I pick up the armor lock? Are you kidding me? Flags Where's my team? Pick up armor lock. Offense. Yeah, the fact that you can play Halo Reach and Halo 3 is just kind of mind blown to me. I mean, the other one was like a Halo 2 lobby, but it was still Halo 3, just on Halo 2 maps with slightly modified game modes. But this is literally like as close to Halo Reach as you're going to get without Halo Reach. Okay, so I can pick up the hologram, but I can't pick up the... Okay, whatever. So cool. Yeah, Spartans and Elites have emotes. Flag dropped. Oh, man, that gangbang. Look at that water animation. Beautiful. <laughs> Flag with cover. Yeah, who are, I mean, the team that poured over the maps in general, I mean, this is quite impressive to be able to do something like this. I don't know how hard it is to backport. Like I could see you porting Halo 3 to Halo Reach, but backporting Halo Reach to Halo 3? I don't know the technicalities of that. I, it just blows my mind. Flag taken. Flag drop. Flag taken. Flag drop. Ooh, might be. Flag taken. Flag drop. Flag taken. Flag drop. The water Flag glitches taken. out when you throw water in the pavement or something. Flag drop. Flag taken. Flag drop. Flag taken. Flag drop. Flag taken. Ooh, I got this. Ooh. Don't get me, don't get me. Yeah. Flag captured. Here we go. Over. Here we go Defense. Hello, hi Sparky. 
Yeah, hey, don't lie, man. Hello. Just a nice bite of goodness. Give them rockets, boy. Oh, okay, Land you got it. Stolen. Are they stealing our flag already? It's been like two seconds. Flag. Flag recovered. Half the time. I don't know why. Fucker. I don't know that's because I suck. As I was talking about earlier, like so, this Offense. like this right now is just good, clean fun. Not worrying about the grind. Don't need to worry about unlocking anything. I have everything unlocked. I'm just here to play for shits and giggles. That's what it should be. I'm on. Dude, why did I spawn on that side? Flag taken. Leg drop. Leg taken. Leg drop. What? <laughs> okay. Little tiny roll gameplay from back in the day. Yeah, I got some gameplay from back from like 0 0.5, 0 0.11 or whatever. That was fun. Leg drop. I think I have it uploaded on my YouTube channel. God. Goofy. At least I scored the flag. At least I'm contributing somehow a little bit. Nice. Again, we have 18 or 16 people now. We're playing on this little less map. Are you just spawning a shot? Score, score. Lag captured. Game over. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Me grinder dopamine maxing. Just uh trying to get you to come back for more and more and more and more. Nah man. I just want to play for fun. Alright, let's go into a new lobby. Some with mini games. I played soccer the other day, that was fun. Yeah, do soccer. Is there anything like that right there? But I want mm, if one of these two servers could open up. That'd be nice. Oh wait, here we go. We got some soccer. I played this last night. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty funny. So you run around third person playing soccer, except there's assassinations. Hello. 
uh, knowing me, I'm just going to run out there and start emoting. Teammate gained. All right, let's go. Like works half the time, dude. Come on. Go, 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 get in. Get in. Go get in. Oh, we're going around. Oh, come on, get in, dude. No. I splattered him with the ball. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Cool. Spartan runs hard, dude. Look at him. Team Look at him go. Game. Oh, dude, those lucky fuckers. Get it in. Get it in. Get it in. There we go. Woo. <laughs> <Good match. laughs> ole, ole, ole. Yeah, I mean, using the third person camera and yeah it's a custom animation although i think the animation was already there from halo online having sprint but yeah it's still it makes a worlds of a difference what mods can do just simple things like that <clears throat> i don't think i've seen any other uh youtubers here tonight yet Escape the maze. Let's try that. Look at that. Leveling up. Mm. Private. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Halo Online. Elder Eldorito's uh, killing Rocket League. Yeah. <laughs> Escape the maze. I haven't played this before. What we gotta do? Oh, fuck this. This is gonna be creepy as shit. So I'm just gonna pop out. Hey, and man. Hey, dude. Uh, no, oh, fuck. Hey, yeah. You do not talk to me. This is a scary maze. Follow me. Yeah, if you wanna die. Follow me. Come on. Follow in 13. I know the way out. I've played this before. Fuck this, dude. Someone's gonna come out and get me. Oh, god damn it. And they're screeching, too. I hate this shit. You guys don't know where you're going. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this.
Oh, fuck, 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 fuck this. Fuck this. God damn it. Oh, god damn it. I can move through walls? What? They escaped. I mean, what are we? minutes remaining. I don't think I need this. Fuck this. Fuck this dude. Fuck that shit. What do we do now? Can they come out? The fact that you can walk through walls is not there for the infected player. <laughs> Inside the Netflix splash screen. <laughs> but don't. Come out. Come on. We're just gonna sit here for three minutes. I say, I never thought I would see a Halo mod like this. About to end it. What in the halo is happening? It's an infected maze game where you get chased by floating dead black burnt bodies. It's freaky as shit. Can we vote, please? One more person. Game over. Go. Yeah, not a big fan of that one. I mean, it's cool. It's cool from a modding standpoint, but uh, so the player's basically invisible and then burn. Yeah. Not big. Yeah, it's pretty crazy how you can actually have unarmed combat in this, and you actually can punch and have your hands down by your side instead of holding an invisible sword. That's the power of modern, baby. Alright, uh, Ninja Knot. This, this game mode has like a little bit of everything in it. We'll do Ninja Knot, sure, why not? QK and Alright, what are we playing? I looked away for a minute. Juggernaut. New Juggernaut. Yeah, man, point six was the best, dude. But point seven, oh, blows it out New of the water. Juggernaut. Now we just need to get the player base back up. This is Jugger.
Yeah, everything that made 0 0.6 create 0 0.7 I've proved upon. New juggernaut. New juggernaut. New juggernaut. New juggernaut. Fuck, fuck, fuck. New juggernaut. Oh, man, it sucks the Juggernaut has, like, no shields. It should be, like, overshield Juggernaut. New Juggernaut. New Juggernaut. New Juggernaut. I knew it. I knew it. Why'd I look away from that guy? New Juggernaut. New I'll play like the Ratchet and Clank game mode. It was, looked fun. New Played for like 10 seconds and then it ended. New New really? New where's he? Where's he? Where's he? New Juggernaut. Um, so, I swear I was running the game above 60 FPS before I was streaming OBS. Right now I'm getting around like 30 to 40, but I'm pretty sure it has to do with OBS running. Or just being open. Like, as soon as I opened it, even before New streaming, it just killed my frame rate. At least, like, on the main menu. So, uh, I think the game runs above 60 frames. It's just, I gotta figure out why OBS is limiting it. New New juggernaut. New juggernaut. So hopefully it's not too bad on the stream for you guys running around like 40 FPS right now, because it's not great playing on. New not gonna lie. I used to be below 60. New juggernaut. New juggernaut. I like the map, not a fan of the game mode. I'm gonna vote the skip. Game over. Oh no, Bill Gates just died. Oh no, whoever's in third place, Raw Night Fury died. Might have enough in me for one more game. That'll probably get off for the night. Yeah, bring back both the skip. Veto. Veto is the way to go. Not even voting, just uh. Extinct. Yeah, just vetoing is good enough for me, man. Oh, we didn't get... Oh, there's a Ratchet and Clank game mode. Let's do that. Ratchet and Clank CTF. Well, I wouldn't mind lock up, but I want to try the Ratchet and Clank mode. I guess we're just going to play Valhalla. It's fine. King of the Hill. So, what's special about this game? I'm a drone. Okay. Yeah, this game is awesome. Although, I think I just froze. What happened? Am 
my screen for his. But I'm still running. Oh, oh, come on. Try to exit. Come on. What happened? All right, man. Let me exit out of the game. Yeah, it borked up. Re let's relaunch it. Yeah, bugging the game. <laughs> See if we can get back in there. That actually looked a lot of fun. I want to get back in. Yeah, Fiesta. Oh, no. Uh, uh. Why you do this to me? Let me get back in. And. Got some baby back bushwhack. was in there. Let me back in. Mm. One more time. One more refresh. Give it to me. Damn it. Alright. Uh, we'll join this one. We'll play another Halo 2 round. Oh, this map. This is like one of the uh, never played this map modded ones that were in MCC that someone it's made, like, I remember. Oh, looks like some sort of revamp of the Epitaph map. Yeah. Or not Epitaph, Construct. Flag stolen. Flag drop. Flag stolen. Flag stolen. Uh, we're not going to start any fire 3.3 stuff in here. Let's put that out before it starts. Uh, it's Flag probably from Halo drop. Online. Yeah, probably. It's probably the way it looks. Boxy ass yeah, sniper. I hate this sniper model so much. It takes up all my screen. Flag stolen. I should go in the forge Flag one day and just like edit Flag all my view models stolen. to actually look good. Flag stolen. Flag captured. Round over. Got rid of server browsing because it's legitimately too addicting. I don't think it's addicting. It's just a very easy way to browse maps. I mean, the server browser in Halo Infinite is just boxes, and it takes up too much of the screen. It's hard to navigate. MCC has this version, basically, where it's just a list, and, I mean, it's very easy to If you guys navigate. are having frame rate issues, go and see your Windows settings and change your display resolution there. And then make sure your game's running at the same resolution. No, it's just a regular plasma rifle. Yeah, well, some someone said are... in the chat this map was on the yeah, MCC workshop. I knew I saw it somewhere. We got like scraps. And, uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. We got computer parts from the Goodwill recycling bin. Exactly. <laughs> I just got absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Wish I had sprint. I could have made that jump. <laughs> Good chance. <job, laughs> If you go to the Steam hardware survey, I'm running exactly that, except I have an HDMI out to my TV. Yeah, why are you even attempt that? <laughs> oh no, I don't think server browsers make you addicted. Like, I'm not gonna sit in the server browser for the majority of the time, I'm there to pick a game. I just want to get into the lobby and I refresh a couple times, but I mean... <laughs> it's not like people sit there all day just refreshing. Survey settings. <laughs> <laughs> better not lose to a fucking sentinel dude. 
call me. I want to know what color your butthole is. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they kind of let you modify the the view model in Infinite a little better. I saw um, a dead red bud. Yeah, it's still a little way from my El Dorito where you can fully customize it. Let's see this background real quick. Look at this. That's a nice shot. Look at that. On the arc. That's pretty cool. Oh, I got you. Oh, it's tiny. Oh, you're just going up against the moon. One minute remaining. Flag taken. Run through the middle <laughs> when nobody expects me. Fuck, they expected me. Flag drop. Yeah, this is definitely the best version of Halo 3 on PC. Yep. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Where's my team, bro? I got to slide all the way up there for you guys. What do you mean, when you're stuck back here? Nothing changed. Ten seconds remaining. I just throw that Defense. powder drain at him. <laughs> it's crazy over here. <laughs> hey, someone knows me. Oh my god. That was that was wonderful. That was Like, so smart. Play. <laughs> God damn, I need to get my FPS up higher. I feel like I'm playing like shit with it being so low. Yeah, I'll sign his chest plate with the gun on my butt. Although, I think he's on my team. <laughs> I tried my best to stop Damn. Game over. Okay, you did not need to snipe me at the end there. That was unnecessary. Yeah, everybody likes to shoot on three four three, but you know, I don't like to go that route. There's goods and bads. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. I'll, I'll be contacting Microsoft about this issue. <laughs> All right, I think we are gonna call it a night here. I want to hop off and chill a little bit yeah, before dude, I go to bed. <laughs> you see. So, yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in to the live stream. Another fun night. I hope you guys enjoyed watching some more El Dorito. Um, I'll try to get on maybe maybe one or two more times later this week. It's going to be a little busy, but we'll see what happens. Again, I, I'm liking the live stream and like talking to you guys, so it's been fun so far. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to hop off. Have a good night. I'll catch you next time. Peace.